All right, what's up, y'all? I thought it would be a great idea to, you know, show y'all how to make levels in the game since I bet a lot of y'all don't really know, like, the main basics of it. So I thought it would be a great idea, you know, show y'all the basic stuff and then y'all be on your way. So I hope y'all enjoy this. The first thing you want to do, though, is go to custom levels, clearly, and so you, got, you, got, you got play and then you got create. And then, as you can see, I got all my levels. I have a lot of levels. Some of them I haven't even recorded yet, but y'all see those eventually. And so, when you're here, you basically want to just create new and then you have all these options. I think for now, I'm going to just do Green Hill because that's like the most basic of basic. And then after that, you'll, you'll show up in this space right here. You got the, the main layout where you can put stuff. This is where you put stuff into the level. This like basically zooms in, zooms out, like if you're trying to do some technical stuff. And I think the first thing I'm gonna go over is these three, these three icons right here. This is the the chunk editor. This has all the chunks in it. So like if I was to click this one, you see you could place it anywhere you want to, like right there. You can add on. And this right here is pretty pretty much the chunk deleter. It's like the eraser. You just place it down over where you place that at, and then it will disappear. And so they have a bunch of different ones for each each different kind of map that you pick. So this is all the chunks for Green Hill Zone. So if I was to go to like Spring Yard Zone, they'd have all the Spring Yard Zone chunks and all that. And then you have all the objects, the items like Badnik, Spike, Springs all the miscellaneous stuff each different level has different stuff depending on which one you pick like these are the ones for green hill like and the way you, you place them down isn't the same as when you place them down you're placing a chunk so they go off the grid so you have to place them like like right there and some of them have like little boxes that that represent like whichever area you get into that's how it triggers and this you can just place a bug right there, you can place some coins, you zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Now if you want to erase, if you want to erase objects then you'd have to you have press this eraser one. And you just pretty much just tap on it or you can hold tap and like kind of just scroll around erasing a bunch at a time. And then the third one is events. This is something that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, it was kind of hard for me to figure it out until I got the hang of it. It's once you press create event, it'll have this purple box and you can put it wherever you want, but it can only be put in, a, in four sections of each chunk. And so if I was to put it like right here, you see how it automatically says background changes. So if I was to click that, it can show you the properties. You have background changer, water level, bottom bound, and that's it. And for background changer, it basically means once your character goes into the square area, it'll change the background depending on whichever background you choose. Like if you was to go through this background, I change it to scrap brain zone. So if I was running, then boom, changes the scrap brain in the background. Then you have water level. So as like if you had a, if it was making a water level, you could have it to where whenever you touch this, the water will go up or down depending on on what number you pick because it can either go up all the way to the top or go down depending on what you pick and it might be difficult to figure it out based on just because you don't know which numbers to use make sure you're using x and y when you're when you're inputting the water level and so that'll also help you out when you're um trying to put the water level and then we have bottom bound which basically means if you was to go to chunk creator and remove this and i put the bottom bound right here if my character was to fall in that they would die so it's basically like an invisible death barrier and you could also use this when like more sophisticated stuff like like set it to where like you reach a certain point in level and you can't go back down but that's that's just the main basics of it and so after you've gone through all three of those those are just simple stuff we have all of these up here which may look like a lot but it's actually not that much to to be very honest with you and so we can start with the first one which is the starting where starting point where you want your character to be at so like if I was to put Sonic up here he would you would start your level up there and he would like fall down but what you would mainly want is for him to be like down at the 
start of the level or wherever you want your level to start because it doesn't always have to start on the left side it can start on the right side then next up you have that the exit ring which is like how you leave the level and finish a level you can put that anywhere but it also has to be accessible to the point where you can beat the level because if you have um if you have it like up here sonic can't reach it unless you had a different character but just put it like like right here and so if he was to run into that would finish the level and then after that you have the zone name and description that's basically just what you want your level to be named you have all the levels from a to z so right now it's just named green hill zone you can name it whatever you want abyss acre or something like that and if you want to go to the description you, there's red arrows like right here left, on your left and right just press those and i'll change it to the description and you can put it to whatever a adventure or whatever you like it to be and so then after that you have level skin because each level has different like textures they like change the colors of everything in the background and stuff like that it doesn't change the animals just changes the background see how they have like different ones like blue green you can also tint it to whatever color you want see like if I remove that it's like that if I was to put like 150 it would be shaded this way yeah take out the green it's like that put 150 and do 150 and it just be kind of darker and then you have music you used to be able to put in whatever music ID you wanted, but after that Roblox audio update, you can't really do that anymore. You can only use Roblox's audio, so. They also have a lot of uh, just in-game level sounds, like you can pick whatever one you want for your level, like they got Collision Chaos, Man Metallic Madness, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic 3D, and they even got stuff that's not even like related to Sonic, Columns. Aqua Rush, I even got Undertale for some reason. So you can just pick whatever song you want and it'll just be that. And the next up is level size. If you want to like make your level big or or short depending on what kind of level you want. So width basically means how long it is and height basically means how high it's gonna be. So files that it's at 32, if I was to have it at at 40, that would increase the level size, making it a lot bigger. And if I was to increase the height by making it like 12 or something, you see that that adds extra height there. It'll make it deeper basically, since you can't make it taller. But you could make it taller by starting your level at the bottom. But that's basically all it is, and you can make your level big or small depending on what you want to do. And next up is the background and tinting again, which is basically what you want the background of your level to be, like main background. So right now it's at the default green hill zone so you can have your background set to title tempest past or or sonic cd special stage or whatever which whichever one you want it to be it doesn't really matter you just gotta be creative just set it to outside into the island and you got the color like with the main color the tint like like shading and then you got character and objects this this changes up like the objects that you place like uh, so like if you was to put a if you was to put a spike down or something and change it to like gr be green and the spikes and stuff would be green instead of the original gray color and I don't really mess with mess with those I just keep those a normal unless like you're trying to make your level look all fancy and stuff that's like if you're like a real expert and next up you have the water settings if you want water in your level basic on and off you can have it start at a certain height and have the color. And, and like how transparent you want it to be so like if you have it like zero transparency then the water will be basically invisible so like you'll be running through the level and it'll look like there's no water but there's water there and that's basically it just keep it at six and we keep it off and then this right here this is the character permissions like these are all the characters in the game and this just allows you to turn off certain characters you don't want to be in there. So like, I don't want Supersonic, I just pressed that and now it's denied. And so, only characters you can use are all these. I just deny Robotnik, Shadow, Rouge, Metal Sonic. So now only these characters are allowed to be used in the level. These ones can't be used. And then this is the Eraser, like I said. So it only works for when you're when you're placing objects. So I was pay place like a ring right there and I was like, oh, I don't want to put that ring there. Just remove the ring like that. Just click or tap on whatever you want to erase and 
just tap it again to stop erasing and this right here the gear icon this is the settings which should be obvious you can put the number of lives like i set it to five you can put the act number so like when your level starts it'll say act one act two act three act six or whatever you want it to be i'll just put it act one for the next level i don't think that's implemented yet you got the title card style it's like you can have it as sonic one you can have a sonic two sonic three or whatever it's character based on you can also have it as none which means as soon as you click the level the level will just start on its own without any starting screen and then you also have the style yeah we got the one-up jingle which is basically like whenever you hit a one-up box you it'll make that jingle depending on which sonic game they got sonic 1 and 2 they got sonic cd sonic 3 and sonic and knuckles sonic mania or character base got act pass jingle like whenever you beat a level or go through the yellow ring it'll make the noise depending on the level whichever level you have and you can also have the invincibility jingle so whenever you're playing uh, level and you hit the invincibility box then you can start using that music then you got the speed shoe jingle so when you hit the speedy shoe uh monitor it'll change that music to whatever one you want and then you have time limit vanilla basically means just like the default regular you can also have it start at whatever time you want you can have a 30 second level or it can go all the way up to 10 minutes but if you want to just be quick you can have no time limit just go back which means the level will have infinite time so you can stay there as long as you want or you can just have a countdown to zero and that's when game will be over and you'll die you can also turn on fast respawn so fast respawn basically means as soon as you die you'll just respawn immediately and off means that the level will just go back to the to the title cards uh, style and that's when you'll be able to continue the level and for bad nick drop that basically means like if i was to place a a, a beetle bug or whatever it's called if i was to have it drop as a flicky whenever i hit it or i could have it drop a ring whenever i hit it so like if there was no rings in your level and the only way was to get rings was to defeat bad nicks you'd have to defeat the bad nick and then you could get a ring and auto scrolling i mean not many people use auto scrolling but it's like basically like what it says so like if you was to have it on you could have it start from the right and go in that direction or you can have it start off just not even using it these are these kind of just just kind of like show how big the auto scrolling radius is so if i was to have it at four or three it'd be really small auto scrolling it'd only be able to show like like this and that was it and i was to have it at 16 and 9 it would be a, it would be a bigger radius so I wouldn't really recommend using it because it's kind of just makes the level slow and, and it's just not really enjoyable for most people. This right here is the beat the level so I'll just give you a moment to read all that if you would like. And this basically means you got to beat the level in order for other people to be able to play it which is you, know, like you can test it and you can choose what character you want to play the level as which as you can see it only lets you use the characters that are allowed. And so you can just test the level like that and that's how you test it so you can make sure you know everything's working properly and stuff like that and then after that the level will be published and other people can play it and this basically just saves the level when it exits it so you can save and continue save and exit exit without saving or just cancel and this is basically just a, a small help guide from virus herself in case anybody else is struggling if y'all need to read that you can just read it for a second and that's basically about all there is so after you just place whatever you want like for i just place a level right here and just start it as sonic 2 uh sonic and then i'll just see i just have the ring right there there's also these right here so sometimes when you have your own level made and it's published you can have debug mode which means like only you can go in debug mode and they have respawn which is whatever keys you have is set to you got shield you got ring you got the hide names like so if i was to press t the name would be gone and if i was to hide hints which is y it just makes that disappear from the screen like if you're trying to record a level and you don't want any like interruptions and then you also have level player list which means it just pulls up like whoever is in your level so like if you was in a public level you could see all these people playing your level and then the pause menu just p just brings up the menu so you can resume or you can just exit that's how you leave the level and that's basically it honestly so sometimes it's a, it's a bit hard to get used to level creating but it's something that just takes a little bit of time 
it's something you kind of just have to experiment with sometimes so you just like just place whatever objects kind of like fit together or what would fit because sometimes you don't always have to have objects fit you can just have an empty space right there and fill it up with like this and forgot to mention sometimes some objects like you can turn them in other directions depending on what object it is like you can turn this left and right and for the spike balls like these if you click them they have different options which can sh if you look up on the top left it can show you like what kind it is like it can show you left right and when it changes colors like orange that means it's getting faster and so you can do up down whatever options are available as for this same thing you can move it left or right and same goes with all the bad nicks well, most of the bat nicks like if cer certain ones you can change depending on depending on where you put them like see you can put the ball hog to go left so he'll throw all his um, projectiles at you and you can also see that line it also shows how far an enemy can go it can only go that distance before turning around and going back it's kind of like it's set path it does it can't go beyond that path and so after you figured all that out you know made your level to be whatever you want it to be you know place objects sometimes when you're trying to place an object in between like you see like they're kind of intertwined you have to just hold it and just place it in between so that it can be wherever you would like it to be like i can put the ring on the other side i can start sonic right here you can even give him some rings to start off with and also give him a little enemy to destroy after that you can just test it and then see you can grab the rings okay. defeat the enemy and then see that and then you just jump in the ring and the level's done that's basically it and if you want to skip through the the ending the ending music you can just press the space bar or i think i don't think you could do it on mobile but on p computer you just press space and that's basically it but that's about all i can really say so it's not that difficult once you get the hang of it you know making more levels consistently over and over so i really hope you all enjoyed this but i'll catch y'all later